All right, in today's video, let's go over how you can set up a Laravel continuous integration build using GitHub Actions. So to get started, let's just go over what GitHub Actions are. GitHub Actions are brand new to GitHub. They're going to launch in November 2019. And what they allow you to do is do your continuous integration, con continuous delivery, and continuous deployment all built into GitHub. So how this works is you define multiple workflows, and each workflow is inside the .github then workflows directory, and then you name it whatever you want. And um, as of September 2019, you use YAML files to define your workflows. So you can see here, I have one in my GitHub directory, workflows, and then build.yaml. So coming into the YAML file, the first thing we see here is a name property, and this names the workflow. So in my case, I'm gonna call it client reminders build. Second is the on key. Now this tells the GitHub Actions system when to build this workflow. And for this build, I'm gonna build it on push of every commit. Next, we have jobs. So each workflow consists of one to many jobs and jobs are what actually you know, does the work. So in this case, I have a job called build and I name it build, uppercase B. And then you define which operating system it runs on. And GitHub Actions can actually run on Windows, Mac, and Ubuntu. There's various options available here. So for me, I'm going to run on Ubuntu 18.04. And then you have the option to also run on a Docker container. So you don't have to. You could just run directly on Ubuntu. However, I have a Docker image set up specifically for Laravel that's based off the Laravel Vapor Docker image. So let's just hop over that for one second. So here's my Docker file. It's pretty simple. All it is is we take the, the exact image that Laravel Vapor uses to test your own tests when you use Vapor Test. And then I install Composer. We install Node and we install Yarn. And then at the end, we have an entry point, which is just the tail command, which is just like a long living process that won't exit so the container doesn't die. So I have this Docker image set up that I can use to build my Laravel apps against. And it's, it is important to note that I had a similar image set up on GitLab before this. And with GitLab, I didn't need to specify an entry point that had a long living process. GitLab is doing something behind the scenes to keep that container alive. However, with GitHub Actions, your container does need to have a process that keeps it alive. All right, so in my YAML file, I've configured that the container is my OC Media Laravel CI with tag 7.3. And then I define for my build job, I have multiple steps. So one of the key features with GitHub Actions is that you can compose workflows together using other actions. So in this case, I'm using the checkout action to check out my repository into the container of my job that's currently running. So what this does is basically just checks out whatever branch we're running, which would be master. And now my master branch is available to be used in this job. And then from there, I'm just running a series of steps so we're gonna run the composer install. We're gonna run the PHP code sniffer to make sure our linting is set up properly for PHP code. We're gonna run yarn install to install our front end dependencies. Yarn run production to build our front end, make sure it's compiling. And then we're gonna run a four step um, command here. So if you're gonna run a multi-line command like this, you have to give it a name. So I'm calling it configure application. And if you don't give it a name, it'll just, I think it just uses the first um, run here. So I'm calling it configure application and then it's going to run four steps. Copy my environment file, clear my cache, clear my config, and generate my keys. And then once all four of those are done, the final step is to run our PHP unit testing suite. So what does all that look like? After the actions are run, you can go to the actions tab here to view your actions and your like past history. So you can see here, my last three have been successful and then had a couple of failures and then a lot of failures. So let's just look into the last one. So you click on it. You can see each step defined here. So here, set up the job. Oh no. No, my mouse just died. All right, sorry about that. My mouse just died I'm back. So what you can see here is I've clicked on a job and now I can view the output of each step. So setting up the job, which is done by GitHub um, and that's running the actions checkout action and then initializing the containers, which is pulling my Docker image, 
um, actually running that checkout action, installing Composer, installing Yarn, um, yada, 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 running Yarn production, all that stuff. And then at the end, if I want to see my tests, I can run my PHP unit, scroll down and see that I had two tests that were successful and everything's good and passing. And then if I had test failures, I'd see a red X here and it would tell me here which tests have failed. Pretty straightforward. So that's about all I wanted to cover for this video. It's very simple, very basic, a very intro video into GitHub Actions. Uh, however, in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to break out this build into separate jobs so that we can utilize parallel execution and run our composer install and our yarn install at the same time. And then when they're both finished, we can run PHP unit. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me on Twitter at Owen Conti. I'll see you next time.